So this is me 20 minutes later. Face dry. Can barely move my mouth. <laughs> Maybe it's okay so far. Right, honey? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go and take all of this blue off my face. Hey everybody, welcome to Vlogtober Day 20. I'm in my Redskins gear. I will show you my makeup here in just a little bit because I did my Redskins makeup or sort of an interpretation of my Redskins makeup. <sighs> but this is what I'm dealing with today. <laughs> I am keeping my eye on the game. It's not on TV, so we're playing the Chicago Bears, but I had some laundry to do, so I've already got it washed and dried and everything, of course, and now it's time to fold. So here's a little closer look at my makeup. I used the Rust and the Pure Gold NYX Jumbo Pencils. And then I used the Last Call shade and Smog and Chopper from the Ammo Palette, the Urban Decay Ammo Palette. And then I used a little bit of Naked and Virgin from the Naked Palette for the crease and highlight on um, my eyes and then I use my cherry apple blush from Sigma on my cheeks and then on my lips that's one of the things I was going to talk about in this video too is I went lip liner crazy recently so this one um, on my lips I have the Jordana lip liner in Cabernet and then I have L'Oreal's uh, Colorish lipstick in pure burgundy and then I have a little bit of this burgundy gloss that I got from Maybelline I have no idea what the color is it's all rubbed off and all that just add a little bit of shine to my lips so that is what I have on my face today for my Redskins makeup of course I have my Moss jersey on I also want to update you guys because I you know I've done a couple of just kind of sitting talking about certain topics um, the last couple of times I've really sat and talked to you face to face um, and not really kind of updated you or anything. Um, the first thing that I wanted to show you guys is I finally updated to the iOS 7. Um, I had the iOS 6 or whatever the heck the one was uh, when I got my iPhone 4S back in April end of April um, and I kept hearing you know pe some people loved it some people hated it um, when the iOS 7 was coming out and then when it came out people were having a lot of trouble it was taking a lot of time to upgrade and all this kind of stuff and they were losing stuff 
and everything else. So I was very, very leery about doing it. And um, I finally decided to just suck it up and do it. And I love it. I love iOS 7. I think it looks really good. Um, I like the way that it scrolls and like, for instance, you know, when you do up, of course I have my messages and I can just do like that. And I think that's kind of cool. I just kind of like, I like the look of it. Um, it's not, you know, any difficult, more difficult to use than the other iOS. So yeah, I'm enjoying it. What do you guys think? Do you guys have iOS 7 or are you just holding out? I hear there's going to be another update, um, another iOS update um, coming out sometime soon. But um, again, I will probably wait to update uh, to update my phone because it gives a chance to get all the bugs out and everything before I update. So, and I it literally took like ten minutes for me to update my phone. Also, one of the probably most exciting things that I forgot to mention, at least for me, um, in my uh, video when I was uh, unboxing my Makeup Geek stuff, is, I don't know if you can see, how you might be able to see, <laughs> Brittany Louise Taylor followed me on Twitter. <laughs> how cool is that? Um, she was doing like a follow party, which she calls a follow party, where like the first so many people that go me, 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 she'll follow. And I happen to be one of them. And now Brittany Louise Taylor is following me. So, hey girl, hey. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Brittany. The Goo Goo Dolls are coming to my town. In, I think it's in December. So James and I are planning to go to that. Sorry this video has been like really super random today but I just thought that I would sit and chat with you guys and show you me folding my laundry. I think I am going to be doing a mask tonight from a fist so I will show you that I guess. Um, so yeah more randomness coming your way. <laughs> hey everybody um, I went and got James from work and we stopped by, I had a red box code for a get one, a get one and get one free. So what we got is um, Hansel and Gretel uh, Witch Hunters. I've heard good things about that. So we're going to watch that. But the first one that we're going to watch is Curse of Chucky. <laughs> That's right. They've made another... Chucky movie. I believe this is the sixth movie. James and I were trying to figure it out. I think it's the sixth movie. But this is an actual straight to DVD uh, Blu-ray movie. So uh, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to go. But you know, whatever. It'll be funny. Hopefully. Um, I am also, as you can tell, I've already taken a shower for tomorrow because I have to work hella long hours tomorrow. So I figured that while we were watching the movies, I would do a mask on my face, which is this facial anti-stress mask with Dead Sea Minerals, etc, etc. So this is going to go on my face. It is blue. It is about the same color as the container. So fun! It cleans pores and smooth skin. And I don't know, look at this little spot that I have got right here on my eye. I don't know what that is. I thought it was acne. I put um, a little bit of like acne cream there and used that toner from when my face broke out really bad. And um, it's like gotten worse. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Thank goodness it covers up with makeup. So, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, face mask and horrible... Chucky movie and a hopefully good Hansel and Gretel movie. So yeah, I'll see you when I get all of this on my face. <laughs> Hi everybody! <laughs> I'm Smurfette. <laughs> I'm smiling while I can because once this settles down it's going to be real hard. So we're going to set the timer for about 20 minutes or so and then 
start the movie and then I will go and take all this off my face. So this is me 20 minutes later. Face dry. Can barely move my mouth. <laughs> Maybe it's okay so far. Right, honey? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go and take all of this blue off my face. Okay, so we just finished uh, Curse of Chucky. Actually, for a direct-to-video movie, it was not that bad. Chucky is definitely way more sinister. Um, kind of like he was in the first movie. Um, and not so much like the co comedic one from Seed of Chucky. You kind of learn a little bit more about Charles Lee Ray, the original murderer that is inside Chucky. And what are you doing? Stop. Oh, he's looking the plot up. Anyways, but there, near the end, I was thinking, oh, this is wrapping up nicely and all of this kind of stuff. And then it threw a curveball and we're still confused. I think we're trying to, he's trying to figure it out right now. But um, all in all, for a straight direct to uh, DVD, Blu-ray movie, it was not bad. All right, on to Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters. And um, by the way, I am extremely tired of this stuff on my head. Extremely tired of it. It's frizzy and looks just ugh. No shine. Nothing. I need help. Okay, so we just got finished watching Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters. It was so silly. Honestly, that was really, really silly. But, you know, just for kind of a mindless type movie, it's okay. Not bad. I think I might have been, like James was saying, I think I might have been a little bit upset if I had paid $20 in the, to see it in the big theater, but just running it from Redbox, you know, whatevs. Um, also, with The Curse of Chucky, I told you there was this like really weird plot twist that we couldn't quite figure out, but then I remembered, it's hard to explain without giving anything away, but anyway, it has to do with the seed of Chucky, which is the maybe before this one. So I was like, oh gosh, yeah, I remember now. And that's, it then made sense. I do recommend The Curse of Chucky for anybody who is a fan of the Child's Play Chucky series, because it definitely was very good. And if you do watch it, stay tuned past the credits because there is an extra scene at the end of the credits, which was bad ass. So that's going to do it for Vlogtober Day 20. A total random rambly vlog. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow. Check out the social media site links down in the description box below, as well as the links to my other channels here on YouTube. And I will see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.